I am Dr. Poonam Sambhaji, child and newborn specialist and our today's topic will be post vaccination care of babies. So from newborn babies till 2 years all the babies are having vaccination. <music> When parents come to me for vaccination, they ask me, Doctor, is the child going to have fever after this injection? Is the child going to have pain after this injection? Is the child going to have any swelling after this injection? So today we see all these three things. What is vaccine? Vaccine per se is an injection which we are giving to the baby to protect the baby from the said infection. So example, a pneumonia vaccine is given to protect the child against pneumonia. A hexavalent that is 6-in-1 injection is given to protect the child against 6 diseases that is diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, H influenza B, injectable polio vaccine and hepatitis B. Now what is the procedure of giving injection? It is basically a needle which is pricked by the pediatrician into the baby's thigh. To magnify the same process, the needle is like a small knife with a point. What will happen if the knife is cutting through something? There will be bleeding, right? So the same happens when the needle cuts through the skin and the muscle. There will be bleeding. Now we have to control this bleeding so as to avoid that swelling and the pain. Now how do we control the bleeding? After the baby has received injection, Hold the injection site tight for at least 5 minutes. Remove the cotton from the injection site after 5 minutes and if there is bleeding still, please see to it that you hold for another 5 minutes. At the end of 10 minutes, if there is bleeding still, better you go and show it to the doctor. It's a good practice to stay around the doctor's clinic for around next 10-15 minutes till the baby's bleeding stops so that you don't have to rush back. What happens if this bleeding is not controlled by you properly? There will be swelling at the injection site because there will be bleeding within and there will be swelling secondary to that. There will be pain because there is swelling and it is becoming tense inside. That's why there's pain. And there will be fever because of the injection itself. How do we prevent the swelling and how do we prevent the pain? The swelling, as I said, hold tight. How? This way. You can see my thumbnail, it is all pink here. As soon as I start pressing, there will be a white crescent at the tip of the thumb. One, two, three. Can you see this white crescent? Now this is the amount of pressure you are supposed to apply at the site of injection. See, I am releasing and I am pressing again the white crescent. Yes. And the pain, you need to give paracetamol to the baby depending upon the baby's weight. Mostly all the paracetamol bottles have a dosing chart printed on it. But I am going to place one chart next. What do we do at home after you go back home? Give the fever medicine if the baby is very cranky, if the baby has fever or if the baby is just irritable and you don't know why he is crying. Give the fever medicine in the set dose at least 3 to 4 times a day that is 8 to 6 hourly. Hold the ice cube in a, uh, in a kerchief and at the site of injection give a ice cold fermentation for at least 2 to 3 times a day. This discomfort may last for at least 2 days so you are going to do this procedure of giving fever medicine and the ice fermentation for at least 2 days. One common question that parents ask me, can I give bath to the baby? Yes, why not? You can give bath to the baby. As long as the baby is fine, give the bath. At least the baby will feel fresh, right? 
If you don't want to give birth to the baby, at least wipe the baby from top to bottom. When do you need to revisit the doctor? That is the red flag sense. If the baby has fever of 103 or 104, baby's leg is swollen at the site of injection, baby is not moving that leg, baby's behavior is totally abnormal, baby is irritable, or the site of injection has become red and fiery, then you need to revisit the doctor. I hope I have covered all the information that is required for post-vaccine care of the baby and I hope this helps you for the next vaccination. Thank you.